Hi everyone, your chess puzzler here and welcome to the channel. Many people have been researching whether it is possible to checkmate a lone king with two knights. If you ever tried this before or want to try it, you may be able to figure it out. If this would ever be possible, you would need to get that lone king into one of the four corners. Some people try to prove a point by simply using this type of ending. As you can see, the black king looks to be checkmated and this very checkmate, not possible. Well, in order to understand it, we must also be able to understand what happened in the previous move. How on earth did the king get into the corner before the knight was able to get into b6 to checkmate him. If a7 and b8 are already covered, how did the king get to where he is? So just to cut a very, very long story short, checkmating the king with two knights is simply impossible, even if you staged it, as we see in this diagram. And do let me add something extra. I'm going to bring out another clip using the same situation, but now introducing two bishops to check if it is at all possible to make the opposing lone king. And maybe here is the point where so many people would like to think two bishops are stronger than two knights because if you swap the two knights for the bishops, you might have a different type of ending. I do hope you enjoyed this very short demonstration because next time you don't even need to research what happens when you have two knights against a lone king. But what happens if you have a knight and bishop v king? And what happens when you have a rook v knight in an endgame? Or to be revealed in a forthcoming edition. So until next time, guys, this was your chess puzzler. <laughs>